Welcome to Jesus Calling for December 27th. I am preparing you. This will be good. Isaiah 64 verse 4 and let's look at John 15 verse 5. Isaiah 64, 4, I love this verse. Since ancient times, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you who acts on behalf of those who wait for him. Don't you love that? John 15, verse five, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. That's really important to remember, my friends. I am preparing you for what is on the road ahead, just around the bend. This will be good. We all need to be prepared, right? Because we don't know what's around the bend. Take time to be still in my presence so that I can strengthen you. The busier you become, the more you need this time apart with me. So many people think that time spent with me is a luxury they cannot afford. As a result, they live and work in their own strength until that becomes depleted. Then they either cry out to me for help or turn away in bitterness. How much better it is to walk close to me, depending on my strength and trusting me in every situation. If you live in this way, you will do less but accomplish more. Who doesn't want to do less and accomplish more? I know I want to do that. Your unhurried pace of living will stand out in this rush-crazed age. Some people may deem you lazy, but many more will be blessed by your peacefulness. Your peacefulness. Walk in the light with me, and you will reflect me to the watching world. Wow. So many good things in there. I just love it. But I just want to back up to two little things real, real quick. The busier you become, the more you need this time apart with me. Isn't that so interesting? Because you think, oh, I'm so busy, I don't have time to have my daily devotion. But guess what? If you take the time to do it, and I have found this over and over again, if you give God the first five minutes of your day, He just seems to stretch your time. And He kind of seems to make other things fall in place. So I'm telling you, my friend, start with Jesus, and the rest of your day will just flow much better. And then, I love this line right here. Walk in the light with me and you will reflect me to the watching world. And that's so true. Whatever you are full of is what's going to spill out to the world, right? And so if we're walking in the light and we're taking time to read his word and we're reflecting on him, we're going to have his strength and his wisdom to get through the day. I know I need both of those. I need his strength and I need his wisdom. I don't know about you, but I do. So I'm hoping today that you take some time to be with Jesus. Jesus is calling, remember? Let's take some time. And just then you can reflect on him and you can be full of his presence and his peace and his strength, my friends. We all need his strength. So I hope today you are full of all of those things because you've given God five minutes of your day, five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night. I mean, like I said, you brush your teeth twice a day, right? Once in the morning, once at night. I mean, I hope I brush mine at lunch too. But if you can give God five minutes twice a day, you'll be amazed at how your days are just more peaceful and then how you can spread that peace and joy to other people. Have a restful day leaning on him and spreading his light to everyone. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to jesuscalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for him today. See you tomorrow.